It's time now for High School Baseball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. at Lehman Field. Here is Jake Seidel with the call on the game. Well, thank you very much, Zach. From Lehman Field here in Berlin, it's time for game number two of the season as the Highland Hawks will finish off the regular season series with Ridgewood. We'll speak with head coach Chris Degas coming up next on the pregame show. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Discover this new construction plan unit development, single family home, located at 1001 Sycamore Lane in Millersburg. That is listed for sale by Coffin Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This townhouse property was built in 2023 and has two bedrooms and two full baths with 1,400 square feet. Located in the West Hills Local School District. For more information or to choose the date and time to see this property, contact Pedro Guzman at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KauffmanRealty.com. Join us at Keim Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast. Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit KeimHome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. Visit Humble Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HumbleGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at YoderFamilyRoofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. 
At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product, whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors. Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. It's time now for Inside the Dugout, brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Jake Sottle here with Hawks head coach Chris Degas. Coach, coming off the first game of the season, a big win down at Ridgewood, and Finn Schneider was superb on the mound. Yeah, he did a phenomenal job for us. Kept the Ridgewood off balance the whole game and uh, let his defense work. Uh, wasn't afraid to attack pitchers working ahead. That's, that's a lot of what we ask from our guys. And uh, it seemed like everyone in your lineup, or almost everyone, found a way to get on base at least once. Yeah, everybody was uh, super aggressive in the zone, looking to drive pitches, and uh, yeah, everybody came out swinging. It was good to see. You've got Ridgewood again today. Uh, what are you expecting to see of the Generals? Um, uh, we got to forget about Monday, first of all, but they're going to come out ready to play. They, they're well coached, uh, they're competitive, and I know they want to beat us, so we got to come out uh, with our A game. Who do you have on the mound tonight, Coach? Got uh, Caden Koblenz tonight. Okay, well, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck against the Generals tonight. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. More to come on the pregame show here on WKLM. Inside the Dugout has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEB Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have fresh ground chuck, $3.98 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Steak, or $18 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Beef Roast, $3.98 a pound. And Pork Shoulder Pork Steak for $1.98 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Mill 
At Pomerine Hospital, they understand that access to quality health care is essential for rural and small town residents. Each day, their specialists provide nationally recognized care at facilities across Holmes, Ashland, and Tuscarawas counties. Whether you're growing a family or making the most of your golden years, you can trust them for reliable patient outcomes at every stage of life. From outpatient services to advanced treatments, learn how they're setting a new standard for community-based health care. And remember that no matter where life takes you, Pomerine is just around the corner. Find a location at Pomerine Hospital hospital.org. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pole that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. Hey, and I'm going to look at them, make sure I get everyone's name right here. Casey Claxton, Sean Troyer, Aiden Garibrandt. <laughs> <laughs> and Judd Bone all here doing video work with us and Zach Crafts back at WKLM Sports Central. Well, these two teams battled on Monday and Highland, uh, if you talk, ask them about that game, they're going to be uh, real excited about it. Ridgewood might not have been as excited about the outcome on Saturday. It was a 14-0 win for the Hawks. Uh, in that game, Finn Schneider goes five innings, gives up one hit, striking out five throwing 60 pitches in a win. Cohen Parsons would take the loss in that one. He went four innings, giving up eight runs, five earned on five hits while walking six and hitting one. Robbie Ganson would work one inning of relief and not factor into the decision as he went one inning, giving up six runs all earned on five hits while walking two in that one. So the Hawks 1-0 on the season, 1-0 in the IVC. South Ridgewood 0-1 on the season and in the IVC South Division. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back and keep getting you set up for this one between the Hawks and the Generals here on WKLM. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where homeownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Firestone Farm Tires are the most preferred tires in America. Not only are they proven to be among the most productive farm tires you can buy, they're backed and serviced by the best trained and equipped farm tire dealer, the certified Firestone Farm Tire Dealer. So whether you need top quality Firestone Farm Tires or fast, dependable tire service, count on us to keep you rolling. Get your Firestone tires at Millersburg Tire Service. State Route 39, Millersburg. 
Hi, this is Corey with Burgett Insurance. If you can't remember the last time you've reviewed your insurance policies, you're not alone. Burgett Insurance and Buckeye Insurance Group work together to make sure you are properly covered. Call the friendly, knowledgeable staff of Burgett Insurance at 330-276-3791. We provide service that exceeds expectations and coverage that meets your needs. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Sunning Supply has 35 to 40 storm doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Monogold with you. Other action around the area today. Mansfield Senior visits West Holmes in baseball. Garraway's at Riverview. High school softball, the Ridgewood Highland game was postponed. Uh, and Mansfield Senior visits West Holmes. Minerva hosting Garraway. Boys varsity tennis. Highland and West Holmes doing battle in the Battle of Holmes County tonight in that one. Early season matchup in the Battle of Holmes County for the tennis teams this year. Uh, not as nice as it was on Monday, but, uh, hey, we're staying above freezing, and if you can stay above freezing, you can get a game in. Yeah, in March, this is pretty good. We'll take it. <laughs> so the field is in pretty good shape. Highland out there taking uh, the infield right now, and their new uniforms that were supposed to be uh, new last year. <laughs> yep, they finally get to wear them. So they came in, you said, what, the day after the season ended last year, so they're getting a debut of the new uniforms at home this year. Yeah, something like that. The seniors last year, I think they, de they designed them, but they didn't even get to wear them. So the team's getting set to get going here. We are just about 15 minutes away from first pitch. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll come back, get you the starting lineups next here on WKLM. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. 
Spring is in the air, and so are the savings at Wayne Door. Don't miss out on their annual spring sale, happening April 1st through the 6th. Upgrade your home with their premium garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. Visit their Dover and Cambridge showrooms and discover the perfect blend of style, security, and savings. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter their raffle for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com for more details. More than just garage doors, from the people you can trust. Buckeye Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include Auto Tech, Nail Tech, Phlebotomy, STNA, Firefighter, and Welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register. Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs Rheem equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local Rheem Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Discover this new construction plan unit development, single family home, located at 1001 Sycamore Lane in Millersburg. That is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This townhouse property was built in 2023 and has two bedrooms and two full baths with 1,400 square feet. Located in the West Olds Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Pedro Guzman at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast. Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit KimeHome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. A few minutes away from tonight's first pitch. Let's go ahead and get you those starting lineups brought to you by Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. Celebrating the generous member owners of Holmes Wayne Electric who have donated to the Operation Roundup Foundation. Since 2006, over $950,000 have been distributed back into our local community for those in need. And for the Ridgewood Generals, the away team today, they'll line up like this. Leading it off at shortstop will be number 15, Jace McQueen. Batting second in center field will be number one, Jackson Cabot. Batting third will be the first baseman, number eight, Caleb Schultz. Grant Lommers in left field, wearing number two is the cleanup hitter. Batting fifth will be the third baseman, Mason Kaiser. Logan Rittenball, he bats sixth in right field and wearing number four. The catcher, Brody Harding, 
bats seventh, wearing number five. Cohen Parsons is the DH, wearing number 10, batting eighth, and he's batting for the pitcher, Connor Croy. And rounding out the lineup will be number 12, Robbie Gatson at second base. On the other side for the Highland Hawks and head coach Chris Diggis, they'll line up like this. Leading it off and pitching today will be Caden Koblenz wearing number 23. Batting second will be number 22, Cody Yoder in center field. Colin Koblenz wearing number 7 will be the DH batting third. The cleanup hitter at shortstop today is number 26, Brady Yoder. Batting fifth will be Caden Candle at second base wearing number 3. Wearing number 16 and in left field. Batting sixth will be Logan Yoder. Batting seventh at third base, number 27, Luke Hirschberger. Batting eighth at first base, wearing number 21, will be Grady Monogold. And rounding out the bottom of the lineup will be number two, Wyatt Miller in right field. Danny Hostetler will be doing the cashing duties, and he will be batted four by Koblenz, the DH. And these starting lineups have been brought to you by Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. HWEC is a proud member of our community and supports our youth and future leaders. Holmes Wayne Electric distributes $20,200 in scholarships annually to 10 local high school seniors. Additionally, they recognize local 6th through 8th graders as power students when parents or guardians submit their grade cards. Again, we got first pitch coming your way in just about 10 minutes. We'll take a time out and be back here on WKLM. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Configuring the Bluetooth, deciding who controls the music, remembering where you parked. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your vehicle doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like remembering if you're on the third or fourth level of the parking garage. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEV Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MEB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MEB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. 
Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have twin pack pork butts, $1.78 a pound. Pork shoulder western ribs, $1.78 a pound. Gerber's Boneless Skinless Chicken Breasts, $5.28 a pound. And ham shank portion for $1.48 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Holmes County Veteran Services in Millersburg. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Vikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Vikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pole that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423.
Well, it's not raining, and that means it's a beautiful day for baseball here in Ohio's Amish country. Jake Seidel and John Monagold with you on this one. Our video crew today, Casey Claxton and Sean Troy are our producers. Our videographers, Aiden Garbrandt and Judd Bone out there in center field braving the elements for us today. And uh, he might need to buy a new pair of shoes because he already had one new pair. and <laughs> He uh, got them waterlogged already. Zach Crafts back at WKLM Sports Central. Hawks in their all-white uniforms, trimmed in red. Red numerals on the front and back, red ball caps with a black H insignia and black bills. Meanwhile, the Generals going with a New York Yankees-style look. The all-grays with Generals across the front and dark, uh, either black or dark blue numerals on the back there. They'll be wearing their black caps as well. 303 down the right field line, 383 to dead center, and 300 to left field, but you got to get it up and over the hitting facility in left field to get it out of here as the Hawks uh, looking to continue their defense of their 2023 state title, and that defense continues today here at Lehman Field. And again, it is Caden Koblenz on the mound today for the Hawks. The righty warming up right now as he'll face off against McQueen, Cabot, and Schultz to get us started off here in just a few moments. Wind kind of blowing out towards right field as well. Could see a few balls get a little bit of a boost there. Yep. Wind's uh, about 10 miles an hour from what I saw. 47 degrees right now here in Millersburg as the infield comes in for one final conference, and we'll get set for some baseball action here at Lehman Field. Yeah, we're going to have a slow track today. We had a lot of water yesterday. Field looks good for as much rain as we got. As Koblenz gets some final words of encouragement, that gives us time to tell you tonight's first pitch is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. Remember, if you get into a collision, make your first call to Finish Line Auto Body, where they have experts in collision repair, and they'll help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call at 674 1483. Koblenz set. Here's the pitch, and today's first pitch is called a strike, and we are underway at 5 o'clock. Always like to get ahead of the hitter. McQueen batting right handed, righty righty matchup. Here's the pitch to him. That one's just a bit outside there for ball one, one and oh. Yeah, McQueen's got good speed. We're going to have to make sure we get it over to first. Can't be messing around. McQueen 0 for 2 on Monday, flew out to right field and popped up to third as that pitch high and tight. And it is 2 and 1 to the right handed hitting shortstop. And that's something we didn't really get to see a whole lot of on Monday as uh, there were only ever two generals on the base paths in that ball game as that pitch uh, comes inside maybe a bit high there and now three and one the count. Yep, buckled the hitter there, but it was up. So three one count, Koblenz comes set, fires. That one swung on and just tipped at the dish. Now three two, the count runs full. Yeah, the big question mark is we got we have three pitchers that we have to replace. So young guys are going to have to step up here. It's the payoff. That one swung on, lifted in the air towards the gap in left center. That's going to get down and head towards the fence. McQueen stumbled on his way to first. Throw's going to come in as McQueen made a big turn. He'll just head back to first and he'll be safe with a single. I think the swamp monster got him <laughs> over there at first base. He's got a nice streak on his pants. And that is the first hit allowed by Hawks, or pardon me, just the second hit allowed by Hawks pitching here in the first two ball games, as that will bring up Jackson Cabot. Cabot was one for two with a double. Let's see if they try to lay one down here. McQueen's got good speed. He got good speed at the plate, too. And correction, Cabot was 0 for 2. McQueen was 1 for 2. As the throw goes down to first and back with a dive there is going to be McQueen. I believe that pitch was a strike as well. That's the uh, downside to these uh, books when you got to flip back and forth. <laughs> Electronics are nice. Yeah. His throw goes to first. McQueen was on his way. It actually goes to second, and he'll dive in safely with a stolen base. He had a great jump. Yeah, that was a good read by McQueen. Didn't really have a chance to get him. And we heard Chris Degas say in the pregame interview that uh, this is a team, you know, they can't really sleep on. Yeah, they got a big win against them on Monday, but they're very well coached. 
It's the 0-1. Okay. Offered at it. Ball comes inside and scampering down to third on the pass. Ball is going to be McQueen. Yeah, I don't know. He squared up there. I wonder if it got in the view of the catcher. Ball bounced off of his glove and McQueen took advantage of it. Didn't hesitate. So it's an 0-2 count to the lefty Cabot. And the go-ahead run 90 feet from home for the Generals. So we'll, we'll do that after this pitch. It's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. First strikeout for Koblenz. And there's one away. Danny Hostetler's behind the plate to complete the battery. Grady Monogold at first. Caden Candle at second. Brady Yoder at short. Luke Hirschberger at third. Logan Yoder's in left field. Cody Yoder's in center. And Wyatt Miller is your right fielder. Caleb Schultz, the first baseman, steps in right-handed. One away and a runner on third. Takes the first pitch, a called strike, 0-1. Schultz 0 for 2, two strikeouts on Monday. And actually, both of them had to be completed down to first base. Yeah, we got corners in here. We got good speed on third. The 0-1, swing and a miss. Caught him off guard on, uh, with that pitch, and it's 0-2. Yeah, that was a pretty sharp breaking ball right there. He's got him set up. He can throw about any pitch he wants right here. You just want to make sure you don't give him anything to hit. So no balls, two strikes. One down as the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him on three straight. And there's two away now with a runner on third. Yeah, Caden's got a really live arm. He's got a good curveball. We just need to get him some experience, and he'll be good to go. That'll bring up Grant Lommers in left field today. Lommers was 0 for 1 with a walk and a flyout. Takes a pitch. Yeah, it must have been low there for ball one. Looked pretty good up from up here, but we're not behind the plate. <laughs> Koblenz looks in, comes set. Here's the pitch. That one swung on line to second. Candle right there will make the catch to retire the sign. That's big when you can strand him at third. First inning. So no runs on a hit, no errors, and the Generals leave one. We go to the bottom of the first. No score between the Hawks and the Generals here on WKLM. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. When you work the land, you know, out there in some far corner of a field, there's an old steel fence post that has your number. And that's when you should have ours. We're your certified Firestone Farm Tire dealer. And when you need service, give us a call. We're specially trained and equipped to handle all your on-farm, in-field tire repair and replacement needs. Call Millersburg Tire Service, State Route 39 Millersburg, for your farm tire needs. This is Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. I have partnered with Buckeye Insurance Group to provide our customers with insurance coverage at competitive rates, backed by outstanding service. If you would like a no-obligation review of your farm, home, or auto insurance, see me, Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Caden Koblenz takes a pitch low and away for a ball one. Now takes another one downstairs. 2-0 oh the count. Righty-righty matchup as Connor Croy on the mound, making his first uh, career varsity start. So the 2-0. Oh. That one swung on, weakly hit towards short. McQueen up with it. Throws on to first, and the throw going to bounce away there from Schultz. And I think that's going to be a hustle single there, a weakly hit ground ball. Yeah, it was kind of do or die. That's the second time, I believe, he started off a game with an infield single. I believe he did that. We're going to have to watch the first baseline here. The Ridgewood catcher, he slid really good, too. So that's going to be a factor. The guys are going to have to watch around him first. So that'll bring up Cody Yoder in center field. Yoder on Monday 
two for three with two RBI. He also had a sacrifice. Cody's looking to have a big year. Batting right-handed. Righty-righty matchup. Croy comes set. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. Yeah, Cody was all Ohio's sophomore year. Last year he battled an arm injury, but I tell you what, that second half of that year, he was huge throughout the tournament. Koblenz has some speed out at second as well, or part of me at first as well as the 1-0. One -oh. That one's popped in the air towards right field. Right at Ball. he will make the catch. Probably closer to the fence than he would uh, like to be. And yep. there's one away. Ball carried a little bit. The wind's blowing out to right. Looked like he got a breaking ball. That'll bring up Colin Koblenz. He'll bat left-handed. Righty-lefty matchup. He's the DH today. He walked three times and scored twice on Monday. Scroy will step off. And back standing there's Caden Koblenz. Get yep. you to the defensive lineup for the Generals here in just a moment. As Croy comes set, here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. Bre uh, Brody Harding behind the plate completes the battery. Caleb Schultz at first. Robbie Gatson at second. Jace McQueen at short. Mason Kaiser at third. Grant Lommers at left field. Jackson Cabot in center. Logan Reidenbaugh is your right fielder. Throw goes to first. Koblenz back again with a dive. Gives us time to remind you that Kime Home Center is your home building and woodworking destination, including lumber, building materials, and custom millwork. Visit Kime Home Center in Charm, Ohio, or on the web at kimehome.com. Pitch. Well, was it uh, called a strike or to go off the end of the mat there? Caught inside corner. Got the inside corner and got away from our catcher, Harding. My Koblenz will remain at first base. Yeah, if Highland could get a couple runs here, you know, we've got a young pitcher on the mound throwing him to the fire right away against us. Pitch runs inside. That'll make it two balls and a strike to count to Koblenz. But we know he pitched against our JV team last year. He looked really good, so see what he can do here. Collins ahead in the count. So 2-1. One. That one's tipped at the dish, and that'll run the count to 2-2. Two and two. He had a pretty good swing there. Nice fastball inside corner. Got in on his hands. And again, it kind of goes back to what we said earlier. Uh, Coach Degg is saying in the pregame interview, this is a well-coached team. They might have spotted 14 runs in that first uh, ball game, but don't count on them to do that every time you see them. Yeah, and they're young. It's going to take them a little bit. The 2-2. Swung on, weakly hit towards short, and that's going to get past McQueen as he dives, and he ended up hitting it down to himself in uh, left field. Now that's going to be two infield hits going towards that left side of the infield. Yeah, I can't tell if Caden took off for second there, but McQueen was definitely shaded towards second base. So Koblenz at second and Koblenz at first for Brady Yoder, the shortstop and cleanup hitter today. Be nice to get a run on him in here in the first inning. The first pitch to Yoder outside for ball one. Yoder, who was on a uh, scouting sites preseason all Ohio teams today in Division Four. Bats right-handed. He uh, had two walks and two singles on Monday. So he'll swing at that one, and now one and one the count. Pretty hard curveball right off the outside corner there. It was a good pitch. So one ball, one strike, one away here. Runners on first and second. As Croy checks on Koblenz at second, fires. That one swung on, popped up into the air. Right field side, it's drifting back, and it's going to drop in between the right fielder and the second baseman. Throw goes into second, gets away from McQueen, who is covering. He'll short harm it to home, can't get the play, and the other runners will advance. Yeah, knew that was going to be trouble. The second baseman didn't really hustle out there. Right fielder was playing deep. So Colin Koblenz now at third on the throw home. Brady Yoder. Going to be at second with a single as he advances on the throw, and that will bring up Caden Candle at second base. Another righty-lefty matchup. As that one swung on, line to first, dropped there by Schultz. He'll run to the bag himself and retire Candle, but not before Koblenz comes in and scores the game's second run. Yeah, Croy's pitched really well. I mean, the three balls that were hit. We're not hit hard. 
Didn't get much help from his defense, though. And that'll bring up Logan Yoder, the left fielder. Yoder one for three with two runs and with a run scored yesterday. He'll take a first pitch strike. Croy looks in. Now comes set. His 0-1. Outside, gets away from the catcher Harding, but he gets to it quickly. That's another thing we saw on Monday. He uh, really moves like a goalie, I think the best way to say it, behind the plate. He gets to that ball immediately, shuffling to his uh, right or left, whichever way it goes off his glove. And that's huge for a pitcher to have your confidence in your catcher. It's the 0-1. Curveball in there for strike two. Ridgewood's trying to limit the damage here. It would be nice if we could get another run in from third. One ball, two strikes, two away. A runner on third, the pitch. Called strike three on the inside corner, and that will retire the side as Yoder's down looking. Nice curveball. About two runs come across on three hits in the inning. No errors, and the Hawks leave one. We'll go to the top of the second. Hawks lead at 2-0 here on WKLM. Hey, you. Are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and covert pipe, and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's, or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Check out the new Culture Provia Manufacturer Stone Options at MRV Siding Supply. The deep shadow lines combined with authentic coloring produce dramatic effects in all of Provia's manufactured stone products. Choose from a selection of 11 different styles in many different colors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. First pitch to Kaiser, going to be a called strike from Koblenz as 0-1 the count. Hawks lead it 2-0 here as we move to the top of the second inning. Caden Koblenz comes set and fires outside. Now a ball and a strike the count. On Monday, Kaiser went one for two, a single and a strikeout swinging. This is the 1-1. One, one. That's a called strike on the outside half of plate now. One ball, two strikes. Hawks had a good first inning there. You like to get a 2-0 lead, especially on a young ball club. So here comes the 1-2. Outside now, one ball, two strikes to count. That was a good pitch right off the outside corner. That was tough to lay off of. Koblenz gets the sign from host Stettler. Now the 1-2 pitch. Called strike three on the inside corner, and Kaiser knew it as soon as he saw it. He turned away thinking it was coming inside. And that'll be strikeout number three for Koblenz. Yeah, Caden did a good job. Started that ball right at his hip, and it broke right over the inside corner. That'll bring up Logan Riddenball. Riddenball 0 for 2, a strikeout and a line out to short on Monday. It's a pitch to him. Up high for ball 1-1-0. One, one, oh. Koblenz looks in, now comes set, his 1-0. Swing and a miss, blew that one by him. One and one the count. Yeah, Caden's going to sit mid-80s, and then you throw in that good curveball that he has. It's going to be tough. Well, we talked about the pitchers the Hawks lost, as here comes the 1-1. Swung on and missed on a pitch inside, now one and two the count. And it, they had... 
pitchers still coming out of the bullpen that could have been starters on almost any varsity squad in the state. Yeah, absolutely. Now you've got Koblenz back out this season as the one-two inside. Now two and two, the count evens. Yeah, I've had quite a few people ask me, you know, how they going to be. They lost a lot of pitching. I'm like, well, they got a lot of pitching coming. <laughs> the two-two. Swing and a miss, got him with the off speed, and there's two gone, both via the K here in the second. And Caden's had a lot of experience. You know, he's been spent a lot of time on the mound throughout the youth program coming up through Little League, junior high. That'll bring up Harding. Brody Harding, he was the uh, dh four on Monday. That pitch runs low and away for ball 1 1 0. So he's taking his first varsity at bats of the season. It's the 1 0 right down Broadway for strike one. That'll even the count. So one ball, one strike, two down here in the top of the second. It's a 2 0 Highland lead. It's the 1 1. Swing and a miss. Now 1 and 2 the count. Yeah, he's being really aggressive attacking the hitters here. That's what you like to see. It's the one-two. Swing and a miss. He went upstairs and came up empty. And that's three strikeouts in the inning. And that'll tie the uh, season lead in strikeouts early this year. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. As the Generals go in order in the second. Bottom of the second heads your way next on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Hey, homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st to the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make your spring dreams a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, you can enter our raffle for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com, and for more details, we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door annual spring sale. Tigers won nothing in their contest. As Croy comes set, fires a pitch to the lefty Hirschberger who lifts it high in the air, but not deep. McQueen at short will make the catch, and there's one away. Bottom third of the order up here in the bottom of the second for the Hawks as Grady Monagold will step in. That's left-handed. If he was 0 for 1 on Monday, he got one at bat. That's the pitch to him. Called a strike 0-1. Of course, a WKLM uh, connection to both these uh, players pitching and batting right now as the 0-1. That one's bounced in there. Now 1-1 one one the count. Of course, Grady, your son, yep. and Con uh, Connor Croy, the son of WKLM sports director Matt Croy. Pretty good matchup. Yeah, somewhere somewhere Matt's in uh, attendance here. Yeah, he's somewhere. hiding. <laughs> Running upstairs now, two and one the count to Monogold. We have another headset, don't we? Yeah, we got another one. We got a microphone over here, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's the two and one. That one swung on and rocketed to right field. That's going to drop in, head to the fence. Monogold round second. He's going to two, and he's thinking three. On his way to second, or pardon me, third. Here's the throw. The slide is... 
in time as he uh, trips up a little bit going to third. And Kaiser will get the tag on him, so he'll get a double and get thrown out trying to stretch that into a triple. Yeah, I'm not sure if he had the stop sign right away or not right away. A little confusion there. Well, Riddenbaugh and Cavett had some issues getting that ball up at the fence as that will bring up Wyatt Miller batting left-handed. Good relay, though, from second base. So pitch is up high for ball one, 1-0 one -oh to Miller. So that uh, put out will go 9-4-5, I believe. That one's fouled back to the screen now. One and one the count. You know, just your average 9-4-5 put out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? As the 1-1, one, one, that one swung on a little drop right in front of the shortstop McQueen at second base. He'll throw on the first in time, and the Hawks will send three to the plate. So no runs on a hit, no errors, and none left. We'll move to the top of the third inning. 2-0 the lead for the Highland Hawks here on WKLM. Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include Auto Tech, Nail Tech, Phlebotomy, STNA, Firefighter, and Welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register. Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs Rheem equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local Rheem Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. It'll be the 8, 9, and 1 hitters do up for the Generals as Cohen Parsons will lead us off. He was 0 for 2 on Monday, popped up to the shortstop and grounded out to the pitcher. Bats right-handed, righty-righty matchup. As the pitch, called a strike, 0-1. So Parsons gets in and then back to McQueen here in the third. The 0-1, swing and a miss. Now 0-2 the count. Well, the conclusion of this game, we'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza, located at 4416 State Route 557. Went upstairs for it and came up empty, and that is strikeout number six for Koblenz, and now four in a row for him. They've all been swinging so far. Looks like we might just be reloading, not rebuilding. <laughs> Skatson takes the first pitch high and inside. They'll check to see if he went, and he did not. Skatson pitched an inning on Monday, and he was 0 for 1 and ground out to the pitcher. The so next pitch, that one swung on, lifted in the air towards second. Candle underneath it now gives way to the right fielder, Miller, right outside the outfield, and I think Miller thought he had a better line on that one, able to call everyone off, and there's now two gone. Well, you know, he caught it two feet from the dirt, so I'm thinking he was playing a little shallow. <laughs> but he did the right thing. Good communication. Back to the top of the order, Jace McQueen, one for one, had a stolen base as well, was stranded at third, as he'll take a first pitch strike, 0-1. Well, if you need your vehicle service, then Village Motors is the place to go. They have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians. Check out their service specials at villagemotorsinc.com. 
So the 0 1 called a strike in there, now quickly 0 2. You can also call Village Motors at 800 292 8842. So the 0 2 swung on, golfed up behind the plate. Hostetler looking will put some leather on it and make the catch to retire the side. Good inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. Hawks leading 2-0 here on WKLM. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A condominium located at 2779 Cove and Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions for lease with an asking price of $2,000. This property was built in 2016 and is a two-bedroom and two-bath condo at the Cove and Walnut Creek. That includes a master suite with a walk-in closet and tilted shower, fully equipped kitchen, first floor laundry, and the sunroom leading out to a new concrete patio with 1,648 square feet. Located in the East Olds Local School District. For more information, or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Kate Overton at 330-602-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Top of the order as the first pitch to Koblenz lined in the left field and he'll be on with a single and he will hold it first. Watching to see what happens when he uh, took that hard turn towards second. And that'll be his second hit of the ball game for Caden Koblenz. That'll bring up Cody Yoder. Gave the ball a ride out to right field, but uh, right to Riddenbaugh. 2 nothing. Hawks lead it here as we move to the bottom of the third inning. Croy will come set. He's going to throw on to first, and Koblenz back with a dive. Sure, uh... Whoever's got to wash that uniform is not going to be happy with the amount of dives he's had to make back to first base today. Well, somebody once told me champions wear white, but mothers hate it. <laughs> that pitch called a strike on the outside corner, 0-1, the count to Yoder. And they're going to have fun with these. They might be uh, finding a pressure washer. <laughs> I think I've seen some people take them out to the car wash and put them on the mat clamps there. Absolutely. Great ball read. Gets, ball gets away from the catcher and moving up to second is going to be Koblenz there. And now a 1-1 count. Let's see if Cody can drive him in here. Croy checks, now fires. That one's called a strike to the knees, now 1-2 the count. Croy takes a long look in at Harding, now comes set. Here's the one, two. That one swung on, lifted in the air right field. Rittenball's coming in, and now he'll just move to his right and make the catch. Tagging heading for third is Koblenz. He will be in without a throw. So that's twice now Yoder's made, given the ball a ride to right field. And now Koblenz in scoring position. He scored the first run of the ball game for the Hawks. Yeah, did a great job getting him to third base there. Deep enough that he could tag. That'll bring up Colin Koblenz. He had an infield single his first time up. Came around to score. Righty-lefty matchup as the pitch. Downstairs for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. uh, Killbuck Savings Brent Bank proudly supports the local youth and hopes you all knock it out of the park. Yeah, Colin was another one that was a prep baseball reporter all Ohio preseason. But I think he's going to be DH in most of the year. It's the pitch. Inside. Now 2-0 the count. It would be nice if we could get him back in the outfield maybe halfway through. We'll see what happens. So two balls, no strike, a runner on third. It's the pitch. 
Threw a curveball there, 2-0, pitching him backwards a little bit, but that's a, that's a sign of respect. He knows that Collins a really good hitter. He's not going to give in. So now 3-0 the count. As Croy looks, fires. Walked him on four straight. So runners on the corner, and I should say Koblenz on the corners. Yeah. A little bit of speed on the bases. So that'll bring up Brady Yoder. He had an RBI single his first time up. I wouldn't be surprised if he just takes off on the first pitch here. Scroy set now fires back to first, and Koblenz back with a dive. Definitely leaning. Now the double uniforms that need uh, scrubbed. <laughs> yeah. Renita's going to love it. <laughs> it's the pitch. Called a strike. Throw goes down to second. Koblenz will slide in, and a run will come in. Yeah, that was a great throw by the catcher there. I mean, if he picks that, he's out at second. Throw was, uh, pardon me, the second baseman Gatson just couldn't get a hold of it. So Caden Koblenz comes in on the delay double steal as the 0-1 up high. Now 1-1 one one the count. Yoder still with a batter in scoring position here. One out here, bottom of the third inning. Now 3-0 the lead for the Hawks. It's the pitch. Called a strike on the inside half the plate that time. Yeah, I think Brady was looking for a fastball there. Let's see if he comes back with that curveball again. He's thrown quite a bit so far. So now 1-2 the count. Croy comes set, takes a look at second, now fires home. Swung on in. They're going to say tipped in the box there. I think Brady might have been looking for a curveball too. He came back with the fastball, mixing it up early. Now one in, two the count once again. Croy checked second. Here's the one, two. Taking a long look at second. The throw's going to go. Diving back is Goblins. That was a good uh, play there. Second baseman Gatson came in and... Koblenz is a little further away. He might have had some trouble getting back on that one. Yep, good timing play. That one swung on and lifted out of play foul on the right-hand side. We'll do it again on a ball and two strikes. Brady Yoder last year, a great defensive hitter. Seemed like he could always find a piece of the ball if he needed to foul it off. Yeah, that's a sign of a good hitter. You get two strikes. You change your approach a little bit. Try to put a ball in play here. It's the one-two. Swung on, ground ball towards third. Kaiser going to field, throws across the diamond just in time. A step ahead of Yoder, and there's two away. Yeah, Croy got him to roll over on that curveball there. Now it's going to be up to Candle to finish the job and get him in with two outs. So Colin Koblenz now 90 feet from home. Caden Candle grounded out to first, but brought in the second run of the first inning. Cabot dropping back a little deeper in center field. It's the pitch. Bounced in there, but Harding able to keep it in front of him. 1-0 the count. It's a big gap down the uh, left center. Yeah, they're shading the right. So 1-0. That one swung on line uh, right over the head of Gatson at second, and that'll bring in a run. That'll be the second RBI for Candle today. Yeah, it went off the tip of his glove. So Koblenz scores. And all four runs in this ball game have been scored by one of the Koblenzes. That'll bring up Logan Yoder. Struck out looking to end the first. That's right-handed, righty, righty matchup. As Croy will step off. Well, the conclusion of this ball game will be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza. That one's banged towards second. That'll get past Gatson. Hitting second, going for three. Here is Candle. And Coach Davis will put up the stop sign there. So back-to-back two-out singles. We'll put runners at the corners with two gone. Yeah, that's a luxury. He had a lot of speed at the top of the lineup. And Charm Pizza located at 4416 State Route 557 in Charm. So that'll bring up Luke Hirschberger, popped up to short to start the second. 
First pitch to him. Call it a strike, 0-1. Runners on the corners, two down. It's the pitch. Up high now, one and one the count. Let's see if we get aggressive here and send the runner. Croy sets, fires. Swung on and fouled off right into the dugout fence on the first base side. Luke's lucky he made contact there because that would have hurt. <laughs> I was going to say, it looked like it was coming in. He might have... Well, he took one off the hip there if he didn't swing. He took one off his back on Monday. It's the one-two. Swung on, foul down the right field line. We'll do it again at a ball and two strikes. Looking almost like a cricketer out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's sitting on the inside pitch. Let's see if Croy mixes it up here. I wouldn't throw him a fastball in there. It's the one, two. Swung on again, foul down the first base line. We'll do it again at one and two. That's three in a row. He's kind of gotten on the inside of the bat and just sent down the first base foul line. Well, Croy's doing a good job. He's starting at the middle of the plate, and it's barrel, bearing in on him pretty tight. So one ball, two strikes. Croy looks in now, checks first, comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Balls in the dirt. Harding will pick it up. He'll throw down to first in time to complete the strikeout, two to three. But the Hawks bring in two more, and it's 4 nothing Hawks. We'll take a timeout and be back here on WKLM. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit kimehome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. Hi, this is Kerry Taylor, and at Millersburg Electric, we understand that your time is valuable, and you deserve a salesperson who will listen to your needs and budget, then works hard to search for availability of the right appliance to get to you in the timeliest manner. As part of a multi-million dollar buying group, our pricing is just as competitive as all those larger stores, and we get quick access to thousands of appliances. Finally, we'll send a dedicated delivery and install team to your home, and we offer service on your purchase long after the sale. Since 1945, Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. Folding a fitted sheet, programming the thermostat, matching your socks. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Top of the fourth, Hawks lead at 4 0. It'll be the 2 3 and 4 hitters due up for Ridgewood as the first pitch swung on and missed there by Cabot 0 1. Cabot 0 for 1 with a strikeout swinging in the first. He bats left handed, righty lefty matchup as the pitch runs outside. Now 1 and 1 the count. Get you three inning lines here and just a moment as the pitch swung on and missed now. One in, two the count. No runs on a hit, no errors, and one left so far for the Generals. Four runs on seven hits, no errors, three left for the Hawks. Zayers so called strike three. That is strikeout number seven and the first looking for Koblenz. That'll bring up Schultz. He's 0 for 1, a strikeout swing back in the first inning. He'll bat right-handed. Righty, righty matchup. The pitch right down Broadway. Kind of tempted him with a heater there. Now 0-1. It's 
It's the 0-1. Swung on, banged foul down the third base line. We'll do it now at 0-2. One hit in this ball game came from Jace McQueen to start the uh, ball game. Had a single, stole second, reached third on a passed ball, and then was stranded there. It's the 0-2. That one swung on, foul down the third base line again, but someone was down at the bullpen already to grab the uh, last foul ball, so I'll get those in quicker. Good shagging job. Right on it. Scoblin set. Here's the 0 2. Got him on the elbow, and he'll head down to first. Second base runner for Ridgewood. As now they'll actually get a coach out to third base. You don't have to have a third base coach, but it helps. <laughs> as Grant Lommers will climb in right-handed, lined out to second to finish the first. Pitch to him. Downstairs for ball 1-1-0. One, one, oh. And this is, if you're Ridgewood, you only had two runners on in this ball game, you want to get at least one here in this inning to score and keep it close. Yeah, they haven't really put a lot of pressure. I mean, they haven't been able to put the ball in play. Is that pitch down low now? 2-0 oh the count. You know, looking at the Highland program, the arms that they have coming through, just replacing what you lost. I mean, we're going to have several kids that are throwing in the 80s. So there's a strike belt high that split the plate, so two and one the count. That one swung on, fouled off, and leaving the count at two and two. So two balls, two strikes, one down here in the top of the fourth. Hawks lead it four to nothing. And each of our pitchers this year, I think, are going to give the opposing team a different look. It's the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, ground ball towards second. Candle fields to second for one. On to first, not in time. And the ball's going to go out of play. So, fielder's choice to get Lommers on after the out at second. He'll move to second on the error. Yeah, I'm not sure we were going to get him, even with a good throw. He got down the line pretty quick. Can so Candle had to go to his glove side to field it. Thought I'd bring up Kaiser. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. But they have a runner in scoring position. Let's see if they can capitalize. Two down here. So they got the lead runner. Righty, righty matchup. Koblenz check second, fires. Called a strike, 0-1. Oh, so it's going to go down, I think, as an E6 there on the throw re relay to first from Yoder. This curveball's up high for ball one, now 1-1. One, one. Goblins checks, now fires. Ooh, Maybe like just a bit outside there. Now two and one the count. So two balls, one strike. Two away here in the top of the fourth. The pitch downstairs. Now three and one the count. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Holmes Ready Mix offers Ready Mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of Ready Mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel 674-8121. The 3-1 swung on and missed. That'll run the count full. Be nice to get out of it. Leave that guy at second. It's Koblenz. Rocks and fires. Downstairs, ball four. He'll surrender his first walk of the ball game. And now runners on first and second for Logan Riddenball, the right fielder. He's over one with a strikeout. <coughs> So it's Lommers at second, Kaiser at first. Koblenz comes set, checks second. 
Fires to Riddenbaugh. Up high for ball one, 1-0. One oh. Yeah, this is really the first time, you know, they've had traffic on the bases. As Koblen set his 1-0. Oh. On the outside corner now, 1-1 one and one the count. So 1-1. One, one. Right down Broadway now, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two away here in the top of the fourth. The pitch. That one swung on, lifted in the air. Right field, it's heading towards the gap, and Miller going to find it in right field, and he will retire this side. Did a good job recovering there at first. I thought it was going to be over his head. No runs on no hits in the inning. There was one error, and they'll leave two on. As we move to the bottom of the fourth inning, Hawks lead at 4-0 here on WKLM. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Monagol to lead us off here as he'll swing at the first pitch he sees. Pops it up, coming in from third base and actually to the shortstop. McQueen going to make the play there as he and Kaiser couldn't just think, I don't think decided who called that one off and he'll make the catch. Yeah, it was interesting there for a second. So one gone for Wyatt Miller. He grounded to short his first time up. Jake Seidel, John Monagold with you, our video crew today. Sean Troyer, our producer, Judd Bone, and Aiden Garibrandt are our videographers. Back at WKLM Sports Central is Zach Kraft as there's a strike called on Wyatt Miller. Tried to hold up his swing. I think even if that was a ball, they might have got him on the appeal. Yep. As Crowley comes set, the 0-1 swung on, popped up towards the infield. Back is McQueen. Just into the outfield to make the catch and two away. Yeah, I'd like to see Caden see a couple pitches here. You know, we've had two, three pitches this inning. So, Koblenz, Caden Koblenz is two for two, two singles and two runs scored. He'll bat right handed, righty, righty matchup as Croy comes set and fires. There's a strike on the outside corner at the knees, 0 1. Croy's done a good job painting that outside corner in this ball game. So that one's high and away. Yeah, there haven't uh, been one many one. hard hit balls. He's done a good job. 4-0 Hawks here. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's the pitch. That one swung on, popped up in the air. McQueen going to fall down, recovers. He'll dive and make the catch. That's for effort. And McQueen will get the defensive hat trick. Three outs all via the P6. No runs, no errors, no hits, and none left. We'll move to the top of the fifth inning. Hawks lead 4-0 here on WKLM. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEV Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. 
Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Get ready for Easter with these great savings at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have USDA Select Boneless Beef New York Strip Steak, $9.98 a pound. 20% off whole hams or half hams. 16 to 20 count cocktail shrimp for $8.69. We also have fresh ground chuck, $3.98 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Steak, or $18 a pound. USDA Select Boneless Bottom Round Beef Roast, $3.98 a pound. And pork shoulder pork steak for $1.98 a pound. That's now through Saturday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Brody Harding takes a first pitch called a strike 01. Here's we move to the top of the fifth inning. Hawks lead it four to nothing. Koblenz will rock and fire. Swung on and missed. Now quickly 0-2 to the right-handed batting catcher. Koblenz, seven strikeouts, one hit so far in this one as the 0-1 swung on, grounded back to him. He'll field it and toss to Montegold at first in time. And there's one gone. And that'll bring up Cohen Parsons. The DHO for one today with a strikeout swinging. Game's moving right along. That one is swung on and outside for a ball. Well, yep. at the conclusion of this ball game, we'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza located at 4416 State Route 557 in Charm. That one runs low and away. Now two balls, no strikes to count. You know, you mentioned not to expect what happened the other night when you put up 14 runs. It just shows you how how much good pitching helps. 2-0 high and away now. 3-0 the count. And, you know, another part of that could be it was in the 60s on Monday. Felt a lot nicer than it does today. Yeah, we got the lights on. See, 3-0. Downstairs, ball four. That's going to be the second walk allowed by Koblenz. So one out base runner for Rami Gatson. He popped up to the right fielder just outside of uh, second base his first time up. As Miller came all the way in, was about a yard away from the infield dirt to make the catch. That's the pitch. Outside for ball one. You know, that's one thing I noticed with the IBC, the way they set up their schedules, you got to play the same team in a, in a week so you can't throw the same pitcher. You know, a lot of teams are throwing their best pitcher the second game against us. There's a called strike now, one and one the count. But, you know, I do like the uh, the series scheduling. It's something kind of newer to high school, but I think it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. One swung on, and missed. Throw goes down to first, and they got him picked off at first base. Nice throw and tag. So that goes down as a two to three pickoff and there's two away. That'll help your pitcher. Also an update from Judd Bone out running our center field cam. Uh, apparently the wind has picked up in center field and he's feeling it a little bit as that one runs high. And the deuces are wild, two balls, two strikes and two away. Well that'll play good for our left-handed hitters coming up. It's the two two. Just a bit outside there. That'll run the count full. Goblin set. The payoff pitch. 
Right down Broadway, strike three. That is strikeout number eight for Koblenz today. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left as he faces the minimum in the fifth. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth next on WKLM. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Fiker Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fiker Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fiker Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Well, the first pitch swing, and it's a foul ball by Cody Yoder. Jake Seidel, John Monagold back with you on an 0-1 count as Connor Croy back out for his fifth inning of work. Yeah, that ball was about a foot foul. The wind did not help us on that one. As Croy takes a look in and comes home with it, one's outside, leaving the count at 1-1. One and one. I tell you, for a sophomore pitching against our lineup, he's done a great job. Mixed his curveball. It's the 0 1 on the inside corner, back door to him. So now two strikes here to Yoder in the bottom of the fifth. See if he changes his approach to make some better contact here. It's the pitch. That one's swung on. Golf down the right field line and out of play as it hits the fence by the right field bullpen. So we'll do it again. That wind's still blowing pretty strong out towards right field. <laughs> as the 0-2. Swung on, bounced up the middle, and that will be fielded by McQueen, but he can't get the throw, and safe there at first is going to be Yoder. Love how Cody changed his approach there, didn't try to do too much. The way that ball was hit, I think Yoder had it beat out anyway, so we'll yep. give him a single on that. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure on the shortstop to get rid of it quick, and he knew it too. McQueen's been busy. Yes. Is that you know, there's another single. It wasn't really that hard hit. As Koblenz bats now, he's one for one with a single and a walk, two run score. Takes the first pitch inside for ball one. Be nice to get a couple more runs here, so there's not know, as much pressure on our defense. It's the one zero, high and tight. Now two and zero, the count. So two balls, no strikes. As time called here, Koblenz had something in his eye. He'll climb back in. Croy set the 2-0. Before it's made a throw to first, back with an eye, I'm going to be Yoder. Not a big lead for Yoder, but respectable enough to draw a throw. Yep. He wants to be far enough. He makes sure he can break up a double play. It's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Now 2-1. Although I don't know that many teams are going to turn one on Colin. <laughs> I think 
Koblenz was expecting a fastball there. He was a little out in front of that pitch. Yeah, Croy's been doing a good job. You know, they call it pitching backwards, throwing a fastball and a curveball count, curveball and a fastball count. That one's popped up behind the plate. It'll drop in, hit the bleachers. I'll do it now at two and two. Keep, he's kept us off balance. Now we got to change our approach again. So two balls, two strikes, nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Croy looks in now, looks at first. Here's the 2-2 offering. Swung on, fouled back, and out of play behind the press box once again. Now he's got a pretty good lead. Croy checks on him at first. Now comes set. Throw goes back and diving back once again is Yoder. Croy's got a good move to first. Yeah, and he's, then, you know, their catcher made a really good throw earlier in the game. We had He had our runner. Fielder just couldn't get it clean. That one swung on, lifted in the air. That's going to drop in front of the left fielder, Lommers, for a base hit. So Koblenz has his second hit of the day. Yoder moves to second for the cleanup hitter and shortstop Brady Yoder, who is one for two today with an RBI single. Runners on first and second. Nobody out here. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. The pitch outside for ball one, 1-0. One oh. The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly supports the local youth and hopes you all knock it out of the park. As Croy checks Yoder at first, or pardon me, second. Fires. Swung on, fouled at the dish. We'll do an L and ball and a strike. Brady might have expanded his strike zone a little bit there. So there's a an out sizable gap really in both left center and right center field. If you get one down there, get it past the outfielder, you might get a run in here. It's the one one. Swung on. Tipped at the dish. Either got a good piece of our umpire or harding the catcher. Now Harding going to take uh, go talk to his uh, pitcher Croy here. Just kind of shake it off here. You know, it would be nice to get a couple runs here and get more separation. Right now, you know, hey, it's still a four, four to zero game. So one ball, two strikes. But, you know, you feel like you're one swing from breaking this one wide open. Croy fires. That one swung on. Found back. We'll do it again at a ball and two strikes. Ridgewood's got a righty warming out in the right field bullpen. I've got a sweatshirt on or else I'd probably be able to tell you who it is. Roy checks second. His one two. You know, you were talking about the outfield and where they're playing. If Brady would hit a gap here, you know, Colin Speed, he very likely could score from first base. He's pitch was good just lead. that pitch was just a bit high as the two two. That one swung on, lifted high in the air. Fair. And that's going to drop a fair ball down to the corner. Rounding third, coming for home is Yoder Koblenz, not far behind him, but he'll be held up at third. And that's going to be an RBI double for Brady Yoder. He's got two hits and two driven in today. Yeah, did a nice job taking that ball to right field. Colin had to hold up a little bit just to make sure it wasn't going to get caught, or he would have scored. So now two in scoring position here, and it looks like we're going to have a pitching change here. As Coach Laney heads out. Now it's here. Looks like he's actually just going to talk to Croy right now as his pitcher warms in the right field pen. Well, but Coach Laney is a pretty good pitcher himself. <laughs> you, know, you talked about it being a well-coached team. They're just, just a little young. 
So it's a 5 nothing lead for the Hawks here. Runs in the first, third, and now the fifth inning. Croy's done a really good job keeping his composure, throwing strikes. So the mound meeting will break up here. You know, he's given up five runs, but he's done a really respectable job. Caden Candle, one for two. He's driven one in today, or pardon me, two in today. Yeah, the bullpen catcher did not have a helmet on. <laughs> so righty-lefty matchup here. Croy takes a look in. Queen dancing around it short like he's got a pickoff play. The throw comes home. There's a called strike to Candle. 0-1. A little backdoor curveball wrapped around the outside corner. Runners on second and third. Nobody out here. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Has the pitch. Downstairs that time. Now one in, one the count. Good crowd on hand. Braving the cold weather early in the season. It's the 1-1. One, one. That one swung on. A little jam job heading towards right center, and that's going to drop for a base hit. Koblenz comes home. Yoder right behind him. Here's the throw. The slide is. Tag is not in time, and that'll be a bases clearing single for Caden Candle, who now has four driven in today on two hits. Off-season weightlifting pays off there. He was able to fist that one right over to second baseman's head. So 7 nothing now the lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Still nobody out for Logan Yoder. One for two, a single and a strikeout. Croy comes set. Fires. Swung on, fouled off at the dish. 0-1. Oh, you know, that's what we talked about. You felt like we were one swing away from getting some more separation, and there it is. Croy gets the signs from Harding. Now comes set. Throw goes to first, and back with an eye, there is Candle. As Croy comes set, now fires. Curveball inside for ball one, now one and one the count. Only two Hawks have not uh, reached base yet today. That's the on-deck hitter, Luke Hirschberger, and the number nine hitter, Wyatt Miller. As that one swung on, lifted high in the air, right field, and it will drop a foul ball into the right field bullpen. You know, Ridgewood's coach, he made a mound visit earlier. I'm kind of surprised to see that he left, left the youngster out there. So one ball, two strikes, the count here. Runner on first, nobody out. He's pitched really well. Yeah, you always hate to see a kid who's pitched well get left in the game a little bit too long. It's the 1-1, one, one, or pardon me, 1-2. That one swung on, lifted in the air, right field. Foul ground again, and it'll drop in the right field bullpen. We'll do it again at a ball and two strikes. So Yoder back in on the batting right-handed. Pretty good lead at first. Croy comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Good pitch right off the outside corner. Yoder will be the first out of the inning, and that will bring up Luke Kirschberger, who made some decent contact his last time up. He'll bat left-handed, righty-lefty matchup. Here's the pitch to him before it's made. Croy will step off. Big gap now in left field. See if they pound him inside. They did the last time up. It's that pitch down low for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. Croy gets the signs, now checks that first. The 1-0. -oh. 
upstairs now. 2-0 the count. And Hirschberger. So he was kind of loading up his, what he thinking about swinging there, almost put his head right in the path of that ball. He likes to crowd the plate. Throw back to first, and again, back with an eye there, going to be Candle. They've kept a close eye on the Hawks at first base today. It's the 2-0, and that time he did get hit. So Hirschberger will make his first uh, appearance on the bags today. Now I think we'll get the move. As Grady Monogold set to come up. And this should be it. We're going to have a pitching change. Hawks lead at 7 to nothing. They've got two on and one down here in the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back on WKLM. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pull that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. To be the senior Carter Stanton on the mound here to finish the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll give you uh, the line for Croy once it becomes complete. This will be Stanton's first appearance. Right now we've got matching scores. Our JV team is beating Ridgewood seven to nothing. So another righty lefty matchup as Grady Monogold will step in. He's one for two. Got thrown at a third, trying to stretch a double into a triple back in the second. He'll swing at the first pitch he sees and skies it to left field. Lommers underneath it will make the catch. And there's two away. That'll bring up Wyatt Miller over two today. A ground out to short and a pop up to short. He'll bat left-handed. Righty-lefty matchup. Two on, two down here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Stanton comes set. Here's the pitch. Inside from all one, 1-0. One the eighth man to bat in the inning for the Hawks is Miller. And the only Hawks so far today to not reach base safely. So that one swung on, fouled off. So we'll do it again here. With a 1-1 one, one count. Stanton comes set. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside again now, two balls and a strike. Wyatt had a good year for us last year. 
2-1. That one swung on, lifted in the air, right field. Riddenbaugh coming in. He will make the catch to retire the side. But three runs come across on four hits. No errors in the inning. And the Hawks strand two. We move to the top of the sixth inning. Hawks lead at 7-0 here on WKLM. Firestone Farm Tires are the most preferred tires in America. Not only are they proven to be among the most productive farm tires you can buy, they're backed and serviced by the best trained and equipped farm tire dealer, the certified Firestone Farm Tire Dealer. So whether you need top quality Firestone Farm Tires or fast, dependable tire service, count on us to keep you rolling. Get your Firestone Tires at Millersburg Tire Service. State Route 39, Millersburg. This is Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. I have partnered with Buckeye Insurance Group to provide our customers with insurance coverage at competitive rates, backed by outstanding service. If you would like a no-obligation review of your farm, home, or auto insurance, see me, Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and culvert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Top of the order for the Generals, Jace McQueen going to lead us off. Caden Kovalin's out there for his sixth inning of work. Righty, righty matchup as Kovalin fires home and gets the strike right down Broadway. McQueen won for two, a single, and a foul pop to the catcher, Hostetler. To end the third. It's the 0 1. Swung on, ground ball past the pitcher, and this could be an infield hit. Yoder will get him in time, though, as he goes all the way to the other side of second base. Gets the throw off to Monagol to beat the diving McQueen. Yep, well, that was do or die. He was able to get it done. Might be the most impressive 6-3 put out you'll see. Yes. So that'll bring up Jackson Cabot over two, two strikeouts, trying to avoid the hat trick. As Koblenz fires, swung on and missed 0-1. Oh, Eight strikeouts for Koblenz in this ball game. It's the 0-1 oh, outside. Now a ball and a strike. Yeah, I believe Ridgewood's only had one inning where they have more than one base runner. He's been in command the whole game. And that was the fourth inning with the uh, hit batsman, the fielder's choice and error, and a walk as the 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed now, one and two the count. So one ball, two strikes, one away here. Kind of goes back to what you said. A lot of these guys you're going to see pitching for Highland would have been varsity pitchers last year. Swung on and missed, strike three. Cabot goes down via the K for the third time today. And he'll have a hat trick. That'll bring up Caleb Schultz. He's 0 for 1. A strikeout swinging in the first. He was hit by a pitch in the fourth. He'll bat right-handed. See, first pitch to him. Swung on and missed 0-1. That's now nine strikeouts for Koblenz. It's the 0-1. Downstairs now, 1-1. One The 1-1, one, one, right down Broadway. Now one ball, two strikes to count. See what he goes with here. His curveball's been really sharp all night, but he's also been able to throw the fastball by him. It's the 1-2. Oh, they're going to say, did he go or did he lean into it? Okay, so he leaned over the plate. It would have been a strike, so he just rung him up. So that's going to be strike three. 
Don't see that called very often, but that was the right call. That is strikeout number 10 there, and that will retire the side in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. We'll move to the bottom of the sixth. Highland leads 7-0 on WKLM. Check out the new Culture Provia manufacturer stone options at MRV Siding Supply. The deep shadow lines combined with authentic coloring produce dramatic effects in all Provia's manufactured stone products. Choose from a selection of 11 different styles in many different colors. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Caden Koblenz with his third hit of the ball game as he shot a missile to center field. It goes off the top of Cavett's glove as he tried to jump up and high point that basketball. So Koblenz with his second. Did I say basketball? You did. Oh. Nobody cares. Basketball season ended on Sunday. Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm still using it. It was a long season. Baseball. Point of the story here is Koblenz has a double and is at second base. <laughs> That's all that matters. Oh, that will bring up Cody Yoder. One for three with a single and a run scored. Singled last inning to start off the three-run fifth. It's the pitch to him. I'd like to see Cody turn on one. He's been hitting the ball to right field most of the game. If he could look for a fastball here and yank one down that left field line. Pitch well, was outside for ball one. Yep. Look for one pitch and one spot here. It's so a 1-0. That one swung on, lifted into left center field, and that one's heading towards the fence. Rounding third, coming home is Koblenz, and he will be home without a throw. As stopping at second is Cody Yoder with an RBI double, his second hit of the ball game. Yeah, Cabot had no chance to get anything on that one. So that'll bring up Colin Koblenz. He's got an on-base percentage of 1,000 today. Two singles, a walking, and three runs scored. The final line on Croy, by the way, goes four and a third, gives up seven runs, six earned on 11 hits, strike out, strikes out three, walks one, and hits one. He threw 83 pitches. And Stanton back out there for his second inning of relief work. Fires downstairs for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. Koblenz at the plate batting left-handed represents the game-ending run. It's the 1-0. Swung on and miss. He tried to end the game with that swing. Yeah, he's capable of that. Like to see that aggressive swing early in a count. So now one and one the count. The 1-1 one, one. downstairs. Now two balls and a strike. So two balls, one strike. Nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. That pitch swung on. Popped up towards short. McQueen under it will make the catch. 
Got in on his hands, jammed him. And there's one gone for Brady Yoder. He's two for three today, an RBI single and a double he scored last inning. Righty, righty matchup here, one away. And Stanton checks, now fires home. High and away for ball one, that pitch kind of sailed on him. It's the 1-0, high and tight that time. Now two balls, no strikes. Well, at the conclusion of this game, we'll be announcing our Charm Pizza player of the game. That player will receive a complimentary small pizza and small flurry from Charm Pizza. Located at 4416 State Round 5, 57 Charm. That one swung on, grounded down the third baseline. Kaiser up with it, throws across the diamond in time. And now there's two away. I'll tell you what, the pizza sounds really good right now. Might be a little cold for a flurry. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely choose a pizza. That'll bring up Caden Candle. He's two for three with four RBI, two singles, and a ground out. Yeah, he's off to a pretty good start. For That's right-handed. Pardon me, left-handed against the righty. Runner goes. Here's the throw down to third, and diving in ahead of it is going to be Yoder there with a stolen base. Yeah, that's on the pitcher there. He, Cody got a good read, picked up something that the pitcher was doing. That's why you got to vary your looks out there on the mound. It's the next pitch inside. So 2 0 count here. And Stanton looks into Harding. And there's ball three. Now three balls and a str no strikes. It's the pitch. That one's called a strike on the outside corner. Now three balls, one strike. Showing pretty good patience there, making him zone up. Now he's got a good hitter's count here. See if he can stay hot. So three balls, one strike, two down, a runner on third, the pitch. That one swung on, smoke to right field, and it's past the glove of Riddenbaugh out at the fence. He'll pick it up, throw to second, but it's not going to get there. And that's an RBI double for Candle. He's got five driven in today, and now... He represents the walk-off run on second base. Every time Kendall has come to bat today, he has brought a run home. Yeah, he's pretty hot. Not bad. That'll bring up Logan Yoder. He's one for three, two strikeouts and a single. As Stanton. Come set. Here's the pitch. Up high for ball one, 1-0. One -oh. See, 1-0. -oh. Swung on and... Catcher can't find the ball. Pitcher's got to help him there. Pitcher should be pointing. Didn't know if he got a piece of that. He called it a strike immediately. Pitch did get away and scampering over to third is Candle. So now the walk-off run. 90 feet from home. Now Stanton set, fires. High and away. Now two and one the count. Just over an hour and a half into this ball game. As Stanton sets, fires. Swung on, ground ball toward short. McQueen will field on a hop. Throws across the diamond just in time to get the out, and that will keep the game going for into the seventh inning. They get the hit again. But 
Nice play. Two runs will come across in the inning. We'll take a timeout and be back with the top of the seventh here on WKLM. Clark Fowler. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Hey homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door annual spring sale is happening April 1st to the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make your spring dreams a reality. And don't forget, for every five $500 spent, you can enter our raffle for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com and for more details, we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Buckeye Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include Auto Tech, Nail Tech, Phlebotomy, STNA, Firefighter, and Welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register to grant lommers who's 0 for 2 will line out to second and he reached on a fielder's choice candle at or pardon me koblenz at 82 pitches today been pretty efficient and that's with a lot of strikeouts too as the 0-1 downstairs now a ball and a strike so lommers kaiser and riddenbaugh do up here and give Danny behind the plate some credit there. He's done a really good job calling pitches. And it's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on, lifted in the air, right field. Back is Miller, and he'll reach over his head and make the catch. One away. That'll bring up Kaiser. 0 for 1 with a strikeout swinging and a walk. Nice catch over the head. He's played shallow the whole game. Righty, righty matchup. Koblenz comes set, fires, swing and a miss, strike one. Ten strikeouts for Koblenz today. As the 0-1, there's a called strike now, 0-2 the count. So no balls, two strikes. See if he can put him away here. As the pitch. Called strike three, and the Generals down to their final out on strikeout number 11 by Caden Koblenz today. As written ball. Borderline, but he got the call. You know, if you've been throwing strikes the whole game, the umpire is more likely to give you that pitch. As so written ball will come to the plate, 0 for 2, a strikeout and a fly out to right field. The pitch to him. Call it a strike. 0 1. The 0 1 swung on and missed, and now Ridgewood down to their final strike. The 0 2. Up high, 1 in to the count. You know, Caden's been locating, and he's had a lot of movement on his pitches today. Ball's running back in on the righties. It's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Ball was in the dirt. They'll complete the strikeout down to first base, and that's the ball game. Twelve strikeouts for Caden Koblenz in a dominant performance for another Highland pitcher. We'll tell you about it after this on WKLM.
Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs the REAM equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local REAM Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A single-family home located at 9650 Golf Course Road, northwest in Sugar Creek, is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $975,000. This property was built in 2021 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 2,208 square feet located in the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Tim Miller at 330-674-7355 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit kimehome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Carrie Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Nine to nothing, Jake Seidel and John Monagle with you to wrap this one up. Highlander wastes no time getting ahead in this one in the bottom of the first inning. Caden Koblenz reached on an infield single, and he would be brought in on Brady Yoder's RBI single, and then... Colin Koblenz, who also reached on an infield single, and be brought in on Caden Candle's RBI ground down. They'd add two more in the bottom of the third inning, thanks to an RBI single by Caden Candle, and Caden Koblenz would come in as Colin Koblenz uh, took a th was able to get a throw to go to second on a steal attempt. He would end up with that stolen base. Three more come in the bottom of the fifth inning. A uh, big thanks to a two-RBI single from Caden Candle uh, that scored Colin Koblenz and Brady Yoder. And two more in the bottom of the sixth inning thanks to an RBI double by Cody Yoder and an RBI double by Caden Candle. Final score on this one, 9 to nothing. We'll give you the numbers after this from Denko Marketing. Denko Marketing. Denko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with improperly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. In this one, four Highland, nine runs on 14 hits, one error, six left. 
And for the Generals, no runs on a hit, no errors. They strand three. Caden Koblenz, the winning pitcher, goes seven innings, doesn't give up a run, gives up one hit, strikes out 12, walks two, hits one. He threw 92 pitches. Connor Croy will take the loss in this one. He goes four and a third, giving up seven runs, uh, six earned on 11 hits, striking out three, walking one, and hitting one. Carter Stanton went, worked an inning in two-thirds of relief, giving up two runs and giving up three hits. So Caden Koblenz will move to 1-0 and on the season. Connor Croy will drop to 0-1. It took an hour, or one hour and 38 minutes to play this one. Highland will improve to 2-0 on the season and 2-0 in the IVC South. Meanwhile, Ridgewood drops to 0-2, 0-2 in the IVC South. We'll give out our Charm Pizza player of the game after this from Denco Marketing. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Pizza player of the game going to go to the starting pitcher in this one, Caden Koblenz. Koblenz again, seven innings, giving up one hit, striking out 12 batters in seven innings. He also went three for four at the plate with three runs scored and really an all-around uh, fantastic game from Caden Koblenz. So, Caden, congratulations. You're our Charm Pizza player of the game. You're going to get a free small flurry and a small pizza from Charm Pizza. And, John, um, another two games in the books and two all-around complete games by the Hawks. They haven't allowed a run uh, in now 12 innings that they've played this season. And uh, like we said, they lost some pitchers, but they had two outstanding performances on the mound in the first two ball games. Yeah, you know, last year's team, I think their team ERA was under one. And right now, you know, they just picked it up and they – kept it going um it's going to be interesting to see you know we got some younger pitchers you know i don't know if ridge was going to be at the top of the ivc but it's still impressive when you throw back-to-back -back shutouts your first two games and it doesn't matter who you play well you take a look at the batting numbers only one hawk did not make it to base safely in this ball game uh and well, they had four doubles in that game on monday they had uh let's see here one two three four Four again today, five here today, actually, uh, getting those extra base hits and really squaring up baseballs. Yeah, and, you know, you talked about we got a lot of team speed back, and we're going to put some pressure on the other team. You know, they're going to have to field the ball clean. They're going to have to throw strikes, and if you don't do that, you're going to end up giving up a lot of runs. Well, John, you got any final thoughts on this one? Not really. It's a well-played game, and, you know, youngster from Ridgewood, Matt's boy, threw the ball really well. And he played a great start in his first varsity start as a sophomore. So I'd like to thank you all for joining us. A few thank yous to send out before we get out of here. First, Zach Kraft back at WKLM Sports Central. Pushing all the buttons, making sure you can hear us here on FM 95.3 and online at WKLMFM.com. Also, our crew from Claxon Communications today, Sean Troyer, Aiden Garbrandt, and Judd Bone doing all the work. And I, I butcher your name every time I say it. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing. Just, just laughing at Judd. We also had Casey Claxon out here helping us get started. Uh, we can't do it without the amazing work the folks at Claxon do. And, of course, John Monagold, always great to get behind the mic with you. My pleasure. Well, that's going to do it for us. Again, the Hawks win this one 9 to nothing over Ridgewood and move to 2-0 and on the season. For John Mo Monagold, as well as Aiden Garibrandt, Sean Troyer, Judd Bone, Casey Claxon, and Zach Kraft, I'm Jake Seidel. Signing off, reminding you to stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow here on WKLM. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching High School Baseball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.